you guys know the drill. Let's get started. Check out this little jewel. Now there's some markings on here that are hard to make out. So I want to go over and clean this up and just see about it. It has a very interesting handle for this size of hatchet to have such a long handle. And you can see it looks a little different down here. So I don't know. I want to do some research on it. But I want to clean it up and get the markings exposed so we know exactly what it is that we're working with. All right, we're gonna try something here. I saw Scout Crafter demonstrate this, although he gave credit to someone else. I can't remember who it was and I can't find the video. So we'll see if I can do it. I apologize for not knowing who it was that did this. that all right hold that screw and hold All right, let's see how this works. Slick as a whistle. Good deal. Well, guys, that worked great. I got to tell you, I could not believe once that came out just how hot it was really warm. I mean, definitely warm. It wasn't too hot to the touch, but if it had been any hotter, it might have been. I could not believe the friction on that and how that screw held and how well that worked. So, good deal. Now, going to have room with the handle for the drifting block. So, let's drift this handle like this. All right, my idea here for replacing this handle is to make a laminated handle. So I'm going to take and put one piece of ash, piece of walnut on there. All right, you guys, you saw how I did this last lamination vertically in the wood vise. And I think you can see right down there, that did not come out straight. It did not work well. So I've redone it. So this time I clamped it to the top of my layout bench here with a hard piece, with a piece of hardwood on top. And we should have now a nice straight piece. And 
that is a nice straight board that we can use. Isn't that cool? The dark here on this hammer end and on the bit, that is the tool steel that has been um, forge welded into the softer steel here in the middle. And once it's been cleaned, you can see those distinct colors. Now that we're gonna run it through on the wire wheel, that will disappear, but you can see them very distinctly here after the acid bath. Here's our project all finished up. I am very pleased with how that handle came out. You saw how we laminated it, how we shaped it. And those of you who have been with the channel long enough know that I generally never want shellac, varnish, polyurethane, or anything like that on the handle. I usually scrape it all off. But with the different accents of this handle. I thought I want to make that pop and to bring it out. So I went ahead and put a clear coat on it. Took and got a little bit of shine here on the head. Not super shiny, but we've got a good sharp edge now. You can see that it's a plum and that it's this NSCO. So I did a little bit of research on this NSCO <clears throat> and first thing that came up was Navy SEAL covert operation. I don't think this is a Navy SEALs night, uh, Navy SEALs tomahawk or anything like that. But the other thing was Norfolk, um, Norfolk Southern Company, which if I'm not mistaken is a railroad company and it could very well be the condition that this head was in it looked like it had some maybe some tar on it and some things you can see how worn that handle is try to stick with the main um, shape of that handle what i did though instead was to use walnut and ash and laminate them together and to make this nice little um, hatchet pop. I also put some accents. This is the first time I've ever done this before. Put these little accents here in the eye, some little brass circles. Pounded in real nice and turned out just great. So pleased with just how tight this came out all the way around, not any gaps, and it has really really turned out well. I've seen those accents put into the eye in a lot of different videos and even on Pinterest and places like that. So it was fun to, to do that. 
also had a viewer contact me. His name is Big Life. He's from Texas, I think it is. And he was commenting on my last video, the Cruiser X. And he had said that he had restored his first X. And he sent me some pictures. And here you can see some of those pictures. He also used that accent in the eye. And it really, really turned out nice. His video is coming out on this X for tomorrow. So if you want to see it, go to his his um, web page, his, uh, his YouTube channel. I'll try to put a, a link in the description for it, and you can check that out there. This really was a lot of fun. It's the first time I've ever done a laminated handle, and I was just so pleased with how it came out. You can see the different contrast between the colors it should be a good strong handle it's nice and straight so we've got a place over here a home on the wall for it let's put it away there we go thank you so much for joining me on this video I sure do appreciate it. If this was entertaining, please, as always, give me a thumbs up. If you know anybody that likes this content, it is very helpful if you'll share this link with them and let them come by as well. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. That always helps us as well. It sure is great to have you stop by. I love sharing these things with you. I'm glad for your time. Don't take your time for granted, and we try to give you content that's worth worthy of that time. So hey, have a great day. God bless.